In the middle of Warsaw, there is a small square named after an Indian Maharaja. It is the symbol of a nation's gratitude and the repayment of an old debt to a dear friend of the Polish people. In September 1939, Poland was invaded from the west by Nazi Germany and from the east by Soviet Russia. Despite a heroic defense, Poland soon found itself under ruthless occupation. The Soviets immediately began a campaign of terror with mass arrests and the deportation of over a million Poles to the Gulag and special camps where they carried out slave labor in the snows of Siberia or the scorching sun of Kazakhstan. But the Nazi-Soviet alliance did not last. In June 1941, the Third Reich attacked Russia and Stalin scrambled to find allies. The Poles signed an uneasy agreement with their former foe, which stipulated that the Poles held by the Soviets in labor camps were to be released. A long and difficult rescue operation was launched to evacuate the Poles out of the USSR. Many of the Polish deportees were children, mainly orphans. With the help of Polish diplomatic missions and the Red Cross, efforts were made to evacuate the children to safety. One of the destinations for the evacuated children was India, where an unexpected ally and friend was found. Maharaja Jam Saheb Dikvijay Singhi not only offered his own assistance and financial support, but he also convinced his country's elite to support the Polish orphans. In a twist of fate, the Maharaja had lived in Switzerland, where his neighbor had been Ignacy Jan Parawetsky, the Polish virtuoso pianist and former prime minister, who had informed the Indian about the Polish cause. And so, a camp was built in Balachardi near the Maharaja's residence and became home to several hundred Polish children. Jam Saheb was personally involved in the camp's operation and he actively participated in the lives of the camp's residents, for whom he cared deeply. Do not consider yourself orphans. I am Bapu, the father of all the residents of Navanagar, including yours. When asked how a free Poland could eventually repay him, he reportedly joked only to name one of the streets in Warsaw after him. The Poles instead built him a square. <laughs>